Lesson 4 is projectile motion, or C4. I, I called it Lesson 4, but it's technically C4. In this video here, so in this video, I do have a joke, but we're going to talk about projectile motion, which is going to be distance and time this time. I have a little joke here, so let's take a look. Here's our, we've been dealing with bridges in the last section in C3, so I got a bridge joke. Ironically, I now need bridge work after taking the bite out of the bridge. Projectile motion. So a general equation for projectile motion looks like this. We will not deal with this. We're going to put gravity in. Okay, there was G stands for gravity. We'll have height and time will be in here. Uh, the height here, okay, and the time is here and here. So the equation is going to be very similar, except we're going to use height and time. And the height and time is in seconds. Uh, gravity on Earth is negative 9.8. So interestingly, we're going to put 9.8 in here. And we're going to get negative 4.9. So it's it just turns out that the first term is negative 4.9. Then you get plus the initial speed plus the height. So this is the one we're going to use. So this, this one right here is the one we're going to use for this class. Uh, V0 is the starting speed, the very first speed. 80 is the first height. And these are always given in the question. Okay, either they're in the equation or they're going to be given to you in the actual question itself. Here's a typical equation looks like this. The height is negative 4.9 t squared plus 10 t plus 12. Uh, this equation will be like the height will be in meters. The time will be in seconds. The speed at which the object was initially thrown, 10. So right here, this 10 is the initial speed it was thrown at, upward, and we put meters per second at the end. And the first height, the initial height, is 12 meters where it starts. So that's this number at the end. Speed here, height here. If you were to graph this, so if you're graphing it, this is the equation here. Right here is that initial, that's the 12 at the start. It goes right here. That's the initial height. I'll, I'll type it here. So right here, we have the initial height. Okay. And that's the 12. I can put a little dot. So maybe I'll put a dot here. That's the initial. The 12 is the initial height. Over here, on the top here, so up here, we have our maximum height. So that's our maximum height. That little dot on the top is the maximum height. All right, it's actually the vertex, so you'll complete the square. So it's the vertex, and you're going to complete the square. Notice that the equation is negative, so it opens down. Now at the very bottom down here, so right here with the time here, this is like the x-intercept, but when the question asks, the bottom down here is going to be when it hits the ground. So it's going to be when, when an object hits the ground. So when it asks that, you're looking for the x-intercept. You set the height to zero, so you're looking for the, the d-intercept or the time-intercept. So you set the height to zero, and you want to find the positive one. You're not interested in the one on the other side, the negative one. You just want to find the positive one. There will be two answers. One will be positive, and one will be negative. And that's this one right here. So that's that one right there. Let's actually do a question. So let's read the first question here. A cannon is located on a stage. A cannonball is shot directly upwards. The projectile motion equation is given as follows. And here are all the numbers. Or h is the height in meters and t is the time in seconds. So what is the height of the stage? And then you know a cannon is located on the stage. So it's the initial height, the number at the end. So this is the initial height, 4.9. The last number, so A, the initial height, or the height of the stage, height of stage is 4.9 meters. Okay, B part. What is the initial velocity? So I should use speed here, and I'll correct that in your question, because you don't know, speed is a different form. Uh, velocity is a different word for speed. It's speed with a direction, and some of you will learn that in physics next year. But we will just use the word speed. What is the initial speed of the cannon when it leaves when it leaves the cannonball when it leaves the cannon? That's this one right here, the 98. So the initial speed is going pretty fast. So B, the initial speed is 
is 98 meters per second. Okay, C. What is the maximum height of the cannon? And D. When will it reach the maximum height of the... When will it reach it? That's both completing the square. So we're going to take this equation here, okay, and we're going to complete the square to find the vertex. And that'll give us information for both C and D. So let's extend this. We're going to do C and D together. So C, 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 and D. It's finding the vertex. We'll paste this here so you guys can see it. We're going to follow the exact same steps. We're completing the square. So we're going to go H. We're going to take out the negative 4.9. And we're going to go t squared, and then we go 98 divided by negative 4.9. So let's turn our calculator on. So we get to 98 divided by negative 4.9. Negative 20. So negative 20 t plus 4.9. Now you take the 20 divided by 2 and you get 10, and then you square it, and you get 100. So you're going to add and subtract 100. So you get h equals negative 4.9 t squared minus 20t plus 100 minus 100 plus 4.9. Next, we're going to take the negative 100 out. So we always take the negative 1 out. So we're going to go h equals negative 4.9 t squared minus 20t plus 100. And we're going to take the negative 100 out. And we're going to multiply that negative 100 by minus 4.9 in the front. So by the minus 4.9 in the front. And we're going to add the 4.9 at the end. Next line here. So h equals negative 4.9, that's t minus 10. So t minus 10 squared. Let's worry, all we did was we t minus 10 squared, and that's how we got that here. Okay, we took half of that, or the square root of that, sine of the middle. Now minus 100 times 4.9 is positive 4, 0, so 490, plus 4.9. And one more step, h equals negative 4.9 t minus 10, and you add the two, you get plus 494.9. My vertex, I forgot the square there, my vertex is 10 comma, so 10 comma 494.9. The t, see the, the t and the 10 go together, and the height goes together here. So to answer this one, the height is 494.9 meters and occurs in 10 seconds. Okay, so the maximum height height is 494.9 meters occurring in 10 seconds. Now we're going to do the last part of this question. For this part of the question, we're going to have to find out when h equals 0. So we're going to go h equals 0. We're going to find out what we're going to use. I would use the big formula, the big quadratic formula. So it'll be like t equals, if you don't remember, it's negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this was in the last section. Okay, so this is our a. So that's A, this is our B, and that's our C. So we're going to put that into the equation now. So you get negative B, so negative 98 plus minus the square root of B squared, 98 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 times 4.9. All over... 2 times negative 4.9, 2 times a. All I've done is I put b and b, so I put 98 here and here. First one's negative 98, then you got your plus minus. 4a is negative 4.9. Okay, c is 4.9 all over 2 times a. I'm going to keep going. 
you got negative 98, then you get your calculator. Let's see if I can type this into the calculator correctly here. Get our calculator out on, so you got 98 squared minus four bracket negative 4.9 okay, times 4.9. Hopefully it's not a negative number. It's not. It's 9700. So it's plus minus 9700. Let's go back there. 04. Decimal 04. On the bottom, 2 times 4.9, negative 9.8. I'm going to keep going here. So here we go negative 98 and then you take the square root over there so square root so square root of nine seven zero zero point zero four and you get uh, 98.5 we'll go on 98 point yeah five is pretty good plus minus 98.5 all over negative 9.8. Now we're going to divide it into two questions. So we're going to have two parts with the plus minus. So we're going to have we're going to have negative 98 plus 98.5 all over negative 9.8, or we're going to have negative 98 minus 98.5 all over negative 9.8. So we're going to have two different ones here. This one here, so 98, negative 98, let's put that in the calculator here. You get negative 98 plus 98.5, sounds like a radio station, equals 0.5 divided by negative 9.8, negative 0 0.5, so you get negative 0 0.05. Okay, next one, the one on this side. So you get negative 98, negative 98 minus 98.5 equals divided by negative 9.8. Whoops, negative, not minus, it'll give me an error, negative 9.8. 20.05. So this is 20.05. Now, we can't have negative time. So the answer has to be this one. This one's incorrect because we can't have negative time. So 20.05 seconds. And you go, therefore, the time, therefore, it takes, let's change it, therefore, it takes, whoops, therefore, it takes, 20.05 seconds to hit the ground. The next video will show you how to do the second one.